After some explanations, Tang San and Xiao Wu confessed. Xiao Wu looked at Tang San, and said with emotion, On the first day I entered the academy, I sensed a familiar aura on your body. Unexpectedly, you turned out to be Auntie Lanian Wang's child. Because she is familiar with Tang San, Xiao Wu also calls a yin an aunt. Tang San nodded, I didn't expect that you would know my mother. He looked at Xiao Wu and said, At first, I just realized that you might not be human. Xiao Wu said, Well, I am indeed not human. She explained to Tang San. Our spirit beasts, after reaching 100.000 cultivation bases, will have two paths to choose from. One way is to transform into a human form and practice again. The other way is not to change form, but to fight against the catastrophe, survive the catastrophe, and survive. Xiao Wu looked at Tang San, your mother and I both chose to take human form. After transforming into a human form, we must come to human society and contact human beings in order to continue to grow. Now that I am in my infancy, it is easy to be discovered by soul masters above Contra. Only when you reach level, 60, and enter the mature stage will you be safer. That's why I came to Notting City, Tang San said, it's because the level of soul masters here is not high, they can't detect your true identity, is it? Xiao Wu nodded, that's right, she looked worried. Seeing this, Tang San said, Xiao Wu, don't worry, I won't reveal your identity. Ah, Xiao Wu looked at Tang San with trusting eyes. After all, Tang San's mother was a spirit beast. He himself also has the blood of half of the soul beast flowing. If Tang San really wanted to reveal her identity, he would have done so long ago. Why wait until now to have a showdown with her? Xiao Wu, I'm looking for you today because I want to ask you something. Tang San looked at Xiao Wu and said. Xiao Wu blinked and asked, what's the matter? I want to know how you obtained the soul ring. Tang San pretended to be curious and said. I'm curious, after you soul beasts have transformed into humans, do you need to hunt soul beasts to obtain soul rings, just like soul masters? Xiao Wu shook her head, no, of course not. After our spirit beast transforms into form, we don't need to hunt other spirit beasts to obtain spirit rings. Then how did you get the spirit ring? Tang San asked. Xiao Wu showed her martial spirit and soul ring, and saw a pink phantom of a rabbit appearing behind her, like a moon rabbit in a moon palace, and then a yellow soul ring rose from her feet. It's just condensed by myself, she said naturally. Tang San. Of course I know that you condensed yourself. The question is how did you condense it? Seeing the helplessness on Tang San's face, Xiao Wu pondered slightly, and said, I don't know how to describe it, after we transform, as long as we cultivate to the full level of each level, we can condense spirit rings by ourselves. She explained. Tang San probably figured it out. The condensation of this soul ring was as he guessed. It is indeed the exclusive talent of soul beasts. Unlike human beings, soul beasts do not need to obtain soul rings to improve their strength. Their cultivation base can always grow. After their transformation, although they need spirit rings, they can condense spirit rings by themselves, this is their talent. It's like after the soul beast dies, the soul ring will automatically emerge. The same principle applies to Xiao Wu's soul ring. Tang San listened to Xiao Wu's narration, after thinking for a while, he asked, Xiao Wu, I also have half of the blood of the soul beast, do you think I can condense the soul ring by myself like you? I have no idea. Xiao Wu shook her head. A situation like Tang San's is really special. He has both human blood and soul beast blood. So Xiao Wu is not sure whether Tang San can condense the spirit ring by himself. This is the first time in the history of the entire continent. Tang San sighed, looking at Xiao Wu's century-old spirit ring. If Xiao Wu hasn't condensed the soul ring yet, he can wait for Xiao Wu to condense the soul ring and observe it on the spot. In this way, he may have an idea. Now it will just have to wait until next time. Fortunately Tang San wasn't in a hurry, he had enough time to wait. Xiao Wu didn't just condense the soul ring once. Xiao Wu, why is your first spirit ring only a century level 1? Tang San still had some doubts about the spirit ring he condensed, or, the first spirit ring can only be a century level 1. Xiao Wu said, of course not, it's just that after taking human form, my body has also become fragile, and I can only condense a hundred year level soul ring. You mean, as long as the body is strong enough, it is possible to condense a soul ring with a higher age? 
Yes, but the age of the condensed soul ring is also related to the soul power. Xiao Wu said, for a soul beast like me, the soul power when condensing the soul ring is actually taken from my previous 100.000 years of cultivation. Do you understand me when I say that? Tang San frowned. Is this how the soul ring of the soul beast that turned into a human form came from? No wonder humans can't condense soul rings by themselves. But now I don't have the 100.000 year soul beast body cultivation. Could it be that the key to condensing the soul ring is not the blood of the soul beast, but the 100.000 year cultivation? I'll just say it. After the soul beast transformed, how could its cultivation suddenly disappear? It turned out that it wasn't really disappearing. Rather, after re-cultivation, the original cultivation base of the soul beast will be transformed into a soul ring, and endowed with a human form. This is why humanoid soul beasts can condense soul rings by themselves, right? The more Tang San thought about it, the deeper his frown became. In this way, wouldn't it be impossible for him to condense the soul ring? After all, unlike Xiao Wu, he doesn't have a soul beast body. Tang San frowned deeply. Can you really only compromise and become a soul master? Tang San, what's wrong with you? Seeing Tang San's dignified face, Xiao Wu couldn't help asking worriedly. Tang San looked at Xiao Wu, said with a sigh, According to what you said, I may not be able to condense the spirit ring. Xiao Wu blinked her eyes, came to her senses, and said, It seems to be like this. Because you don't have a soul beast body, so you don't have a 100.000 year soul power cultivation base to obtain. Said, she looked at Tang San, slightly frowned. Intense unwillingness welled up in Tang San's heart. He didn't want to give up. Must try at least once. If you give up without even trying, he will never be reconciled for the rest of his life. I'm going to try at least once. Tang San said, he looked at Xiao Wu, Xiao Wu, when you condense the spirit ring later, tell me, I need to observe it once. Can. Xiao Wu nodded seriously, she really wanted to help Tang San. She would also be very happy if Tang San could obtain a spirit ring without hunting spirit beasts. Tang San and Xiao Wu chatted for a long time in the back mountain. The two chatted a lot about soul beasts, and most of the time, it was Xiao Wu who was telling interesting stories about the Star Do Great Forest. From Xiao Wu's mouth, Tang San heard the names of Da Ming and Er Ming. Xiao Wu told Tang San how she and Da Ming Er Ming knew each other, and how they played together. When she said this, she looked very happy. Tang San naturally knew about Da Ming and Er Ming. After all, I have read the original novel. Da Ming is an Azure Bull Python, a very powerful 100.000-year-old soul beast. Its cultivation base has already approached 200.000 years, and it should be able to break through to 200.000 years in a few years. Er Ming is the Titan Great Ape, known as the Overlord of the Forest, possessing unrivaled power and defense. His strength of 70.000 years is comparable to some 100.000 year-old soul beasts, and his talon is very powerful. The two chatted until the stars came out, and then returned to Cachet. In the following time, Tang San returned to his regular daily life. Go to class, work, and practice every day. With his efforts, his cultivation has returned to the level of perfection in the qi refining stage. What's worth mentioning is that Tang San's body suffered enormous pressure when he absorbed the spirit ring last time, but after recovering now, his physique has improved a lot. The days passed by. Xiao Wu's cultivation is also gradually increasing. But it is not easy to wait until Xiao Wu's soul power reaches the time to condense the soul ring again. On this day, Tang San finally remembered that he had a chance to borrow books from the master. Just after working in the afternoon, Tang San had nothing to do, so he walked to Yu Xiaoging's dormitory. The top floor of the dormitory building, in front of Yu Xiaoging's room. Tang San looked at the house number, after confirming that he did not make a mistake, he reached out and knocked on the door lightly. Dong dong dong. Please come in. Inside the door, came the master's voice. Tang San opened the door and entered, and saw Yu Xiaoging sitting behind the desk, writing something at the desk, with a very serious and serious expression. After Tang San entered, Yu Xiao just raised his head. He looked over, saw that it was Tang San, slightly surprised, and asked, Tang San, why are you here? Master, didn't you say that I have a chance to borrow books from you? 
Tang San said while looking at Grandmaster's room. Yu Xiaoging's room is very large, it looks like an office, and all kinds of books are piled up around it. Well, I remember. Yu Xiaoging nodded, looked at Tang San and said, I thought you forgot. Tang San smiled, and explained, I was illiterate before, but now I know a lot, so I dare to borrow books from the master. This is of course an excuse, but Yu Xiaoging took it for granted, and didn't take it too seriously. He just followed his promise and told Tang San, all my books and notes are here. You can read it yourself. You can borrow that book if you want. Tang San nodded, and walked towards those books and notes. Research on the soul power and attributes of soul beasts, 10 questions. Conditions required for a century-old soul beast to break through a thousand-year soul beast. Research and deduction on whether low-level martial souls can artificially perform good mutations. Supplements and explanations on the 10 core theories of Wuhun. I have to say that the master here really has a lot of books. Tang San was blindsided. Beside, after telling Tang San that he can borrow it at will, Yu Xiaoging continued to write at his desk. Tang San was flipping through a notebook of the master at this time. This notebook records the master's research on a martial soul called, Stone Ghost. This kind of martial spirit is very special. When the soul master uses the Stone Ghost martial soul, he will get a special power. This power can manipulate rocks. As for Stone Ghost Masters, no matter how many soul rings they have in their lifetime, they will not possess soul skills, but it will deepen their control over rocks. A powerful Stone Ghost Master can even move mountains and move mountains, which is very terrifying. It's just a pity that this kind of powerful Soul Master disappeared hundreds of years ago. In today's world, there are no Soul Masters with Stone Ghost Martial Souls. Okay, what is this? Suddenly, a map fell out of the notebook Tang San was looking at. Tang San couldn't help picking up the map and checking it out. This seems to be a map of ancient ruins. On it, some ancient information, such as soul guides, horcrux puppets, etc. are marked. Soul guide? Tang San's eyes brightened slightly. In the original book, the setting of the soul guide is actually very brilliant. It is a pity that the author did not expand the description. Master, what map is this? Tang San walked towards Yu Xiaoging with the map, pretending not to know and asked. Seeing the map in Tang San's hand, Yu Xiaoging was slightly taken aback, and then showed a look of nostalgia. After a while, he replied. This is a map of the ancient ruins. It was recorded when I was adventuring with my partners. I thought it was lost, but I didn't expect to keep it in this notebook. Master, what's in the ancient ruins? Tang San asked curiously. The master recalled, there was a very dangerous mechanism. When we entered it, we almost died several times. There is also a kind of moving horcrux puppet, which is driven by soul power and has the power comparable to it or even surpassed by soul beasts. Terrible. He looked at Tang San with a smile on his face, in addition to danger, there are also huge opportunities in the ancient ruins. As Yu Xiaoging said, he stood up and pointed to his waist. There is a belt inlaid with 24 jade stones, this should be the space soul guide given to Tang San by Yu Xiaoging in the original book, right? 24 bridges on a moonlit night. Tisk tisk. Tang San glanced at it, then withdrew his gaze. Yu Xiaoging said, This is a space soul guide. We found it from the ruins. A piece of jade has a cubic meter. It can store all kinds of dead objects, which is very convenient. Said, he looked at Tang San. Originally thought that he would see an envious expression on Tang San's face. But Tang San was very calm, just nodded, Yu Xiaoging. Tang San looked up at Yu Xiaoging, and asked, Master, have you finished exploring this ancient ruin? Yu Xiaoging shook his head, No this ancient relic is very huge, and my partner and I only explored a small area back then. Why didn't you explore deeply? Tang San asked. The master said, The ancient ruins are very dangerous, and the horcrux puppets inside are very powerful. Back then, our level was too low to go deep. The most important thing is that the opening time of this ancient ruin is limited, and we don't have enough time. Go explore. Ah? Tang San looked at Yu Xiaoging suspiciously. Yu Xiaoging explained. This ancient relic is in a very special barrier, which can only be entered by the soul sect and below, and it is only opened for three months every year. Okay, I get it now. Tang San nodded, put the map into the notebook then picked up another book, and said, Master, I'll just borrow this one. Yu Xiaoging glanced at the book in Tang San's hand. 
on the compatibility and expansion of soul rings and martial souls. Nodding his head, he said, Okay, take it, you can return at any time. After a pause, he looked at Tang San, and said, If there is anything you don't understand, you can come to me at any time, and I will answer your doubts. Thank you, Master, then I will take my leave first. Tang San thanked, then turned and left. Leaving Yu Xiaoging's office, Tang San walked towards Kashe while reading a book. Today's weather is not very good. Layers of dark clouds filled the air, and the air was cold. Tang San suddenly felt a little cold on the back of his neck. He looked up at the dark sky and murmured, it's snowing. In the six years since I came to Duluo Dalu, it has snowed every year. After the snow falls, it also indicates that this year is about to pass. Little San, the holiday is coming soon. What are your plans? Back to Kashe. Wearing a white uniform, Xiao Wu sat by the bed, swung her legs, looked at Tang San and asked. After the weather turned cold, everyone in the academy changed into winter uniforms. The winter uniform is much thicker than the previous uniform, and it is very warm to wear. Go home. Tang San said, not in college is one semester a year, and he hasn't been back for a year. Xiao Wu rolled her eyes and said with a smile, didn't you invite me to your house to play, I agreed. Okay, but let me tell you in advance, my house is very broken, Tang San said indifferently. Xiao Wu said indifferently, the place where I lived before didn't have a house yet. Wang Shang next to him was a little surprised when he heard this, and said, Xiao Wu, is your family so poor? You don't even have a house. The other work-study students all looked at Xiao Wu, unable to imagine the situation in her family. Although their family is also poor, they are not without a house to live in. The house is too small to live in. Thinking of the physiques of Da Ming and Er Ming, Xiao Wu shook her head and said. You want a big house. Wang Shang looked at Xiao Wu's petite figure, smiled and said. At this time, Tang San next to him suddenly asked. Wang Shang, are you going to graduate this semester? Wang Shang nodded reluctantly. Well, after this semester, I will graduate. Are you going to Park City's Intermediate Academy after that? Tang San asked. Nottingham is just a small city, there is only one Junior Soul Master Academy. If you want to enter the Intermediate Soul Master Academy, you can only go to Park City. Park City is not too far from Notting City, where there is an Intermediate Soul Master Academy. I heard from the teachers in the academy that most of the students who graduated from the academy went to the Parker Intermediate Soul Master Academy for further study. Wang Shang nodded, well, we went to the exam before, and we only got the news two days ago that we passed, we can go after graduation. That's it, congratulations. Several people chatted about Wang Shang's graduation, feeling a little sad about parting soon. But a week later, the joy of the college holiday has diluted a lot of the sadness of parting. Go home, see you next year, boss, goodbye. Next year, I'll bring you some local products from home. Gone. The people of Kashe are saying goodbye. When people were almost gone, Tang San looked at Xiao Wu, said with a smile, let's go. Xiao Wu nodded happily, hurry up. The impatient look seemed to return not to Tang San's home, but to hers. Before Xiao Wu wanted to go to Tang San's house, she wanted to know whether Tang San's identity was a spirit beast or not. But later, Tang San took the first step and revealed his identity to her. So Xiao Wu didn't need to confirm Tang San's identity. However, she wanted to visit Tang San's house even more. She wanted to know what kind of environment Tang San grew up in. The two of them walked home without calling a carriage. Tang San has no money. He hasn't got the soul ring yet, so he can't go to the Wuhun Hall to identify the level of a soul master and get subsidies. Xiao Wu went to confirm the level and could receive the subsidy. But she spends money lavishly, and the subsidies she receives every time are gone soon. So she, like Tang San, is poor and has no money for a carriage. How far is it? Xiao Wu looked east and west, and asked Tang San. Tang San pointed to the front, we're almost there. Have you seen that mountain over there? The Holy Soul Village is at the foot of the mountain. Soon, the two walked into the Holy Soul Village. Along the way, I didn't see any villagers. Now that the weather is turning cold, there is nothing to be busy in the fields, and most of the villagers are living at home. A small number of villagers are also cutting firewood in the mountains at this time because they did not prepare enough wood a year ago. Tang San's home is at the head of the village, you can see it when you look up. 
Here, that's my home. Looks like, it's broken, I know it. Is your dad home? Xiao Wu and Tang San asked as they walked towards the dilapidated wooden house. Tang San replied, probably not here. Ever since he got two books and a token from Tang Hao last time, Tang San knew that his father should be gone. As for where to go, do not know, Tang Hao sent letters. Oh, there is still a letter left at home. Is this a letter from your father? Xiao Wu watched Tang San finish reading the letter, and couldn't help asking curiously. Yeah, he's gone. Tang San put away the letter with a calm expression, not taking Tang Hao's departure to heart. But Xiao Wu didn't think so. She carefully looked at Tang San's face, and asked worriedly, Little San, are you really alright? Tang San smiled, looked towards Xiao Wu. Seeing her worried face, she couldn't help stretching out her hand, rubbing the girl's hair, and said with a smile, Don't worry, what can I do, isn't it just that my father ran away from home, what is that? Ever since he was able to take care of himself at the age of three, there was no difference to Tang San with or without Tang Hao. When Tang Hao left, he didn't feel sad at all, even relieved. Without Tang Hao's surveillance in the dark, he was more at ease. Xiao Wu broke away from Tang San's hand with a blushing face and snorted, I'm worried about you, I'm afraid you will be stimulated. I'm not a child who lacks love. Tang San shrugged, with an expression of indifference. But the more he behaved like this, the more Xiao Wu felt that he was forcing a smile. I just don't want to show my weak side in front of her. Xiao San, you, Xiao Wu said, little San, you're back. Xiao Wu was about to say something to Tang San, but an excited voice came from outside the door. Then an old man walked in with a cane, it was old Jack. Grandpa Jack, why are you here? I saw the door of your house was open, so I guessed it was you who came back. Old Jack looked at Xiao Wu while talking, and asked hesitantly, this is. Tang San introduced, Grandpa Jack, this is my classmate, Xiao Wu. Grandpa, hello. Xiao Wu smiled sweetly and greeted politely. Tang San secretly complained on the side. This little girl may not be as old as 100.000 years. But to have a cultivation base of 100.000 years, he must be not too young, he must be older than old Jack, and he is pretending to be tender here. Good good. Old Jack was very happy, and said excitedly, Hello, Xiao Wu, you and Tang San are welcome to come to our village to play. After speaking, he looked at Tang San hesitantly. Seeing Tang San holding the letter in his hand, Old Jack said, Little San, it seems that you know that your father left not long ago, and when he left, there was no sign at all. I also came to ask him to make farm tools, but I couldn't see only when I saw someone else did I know he left. After a pause, Old Jack looked at Xiao Wu, and said again, Xiao San, your father is not at home now, and there is nothing prepared at home. You must not have eaten. Why don't you take your classmate to grandpa's house for dinner first? The old man was kind, Tang San naturally wouldn't refuse, smiled and said, Okay, grandpa. Seeing Tang San agreeing, Old Jack was very happy, and said with a smile, Let's go, go to grandpa's house, wait a minute, let your uncle Jed kill chickens for you to eat. Tang San and Xiao Wu followed old Jack to his home. The two received warm hospitality, especially Xiao Wu. At the dinner table, before the dishes in the bowl were finished, old Jack's wife brought her another dish. Later, Xiao Wu was so full that she had to ask Tang for help. 3. But Tang San was also helpless. There is also a lot of food in his own bowl. Old Jack's son, Jed and his wife, one left and one right saw the rice in Tang San's bowl fall down, and the two of them served him with rice and vegetables, Tang San couldn't stop him, the rice bowl it's also fake. After returning from old Jack's house, Tang San cleaned up Tang Hao's back room and let Xiao Wu sleep in it. Xiao Wu, the house is a bit dilapidated, but it can keep out the wind and rain, and the bedding is also clean. I'm not picky, that's good, hey, are you really okay? Fine, but, your father, leave as soon as he leaves, could it be that I can't live without him? Tang San said with a smile. Seeing that Tang San seemed to be really all right, Xiao Wu finally nodded reassuringly. Tang San looked at the sky, it was still early at this time, he couldn't help asking Xiao Wu, do you want to go out for a stroll? Xiao Wu nodded and said happily, okay, she blinked her big eyes, is there any interesting place around here? Tang San shook his head, no, seeing Xiao Wu's disappointed expression, he said again, 
However, there is one place with a good view. Where is it? Xiao Wu's expression immediately became happy again. Tang San smiled and said, Unfortunately, at this time of year, there is nothing there. Xiao Wu's mouth fell down again. Then, she finally came to her senses, looked at Tang San, and snorted. Okay, you're kidding me, aren't you? Ha ha. Tang San laughed, but he really took Xiao Wu out for a stroll. He even went to the mountain where he often practiced to have a look. But Tang San didn't want to sworn brothers and sisters with Xiao Wu like in the original book. That's too embarrassing. Just thinking of the plot in the original book, his toes can make three rooms and one living room on the ground. After spending the new year in Holy Soul Village, Tang San and Xiao Wu returned to the academy, and continued to attend classes, work, and practice. The days passed by. Tang San's cultivation still remained at the first level of perfection in the qi refining stage. But he was in no hurry, because his cultivation speed is very fast. It's just that there is no soul ring at present. If he was willing to give up cultivating immortals, he might have been promoted to soul lord long ago. Tang San didn't want to give up, in my third year at Notting College. Tang San's body has grown a lot due to training and exercising. His long blue blonde hair was simply tied together, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes, and an extremely handsome face, so perfect that he was not like a mortal person. He was sitting by the window of Cachet, reading the book quietly, his whole body seemed to be surrounded by divine light, noble and holy, like a young god descended from the world of gods. The other people in the dormitory were afraid to breathe when they saw this scene. Little three, little three, suddenly, an excited voice came, breaking the tranquility in the dormitory. Then a beautiful girl ran into Cachet bouncing around. She threw herself on Tang San's body, the momentum brought by running made Tang San's figure push forward. The girl cheered and said, I'm level, 20. A gleam flashed in Tang San's golden blue eyes, ignoring the incomparably soft touch on his back. He turned his head to look at the girl, and said pleasantly, Has your spirit power reached level, 20, yet? Well, just arrived. Xiao Wu hugged Tang San's neck and said happily. Great. Despite Tang San's temperament, he couldn't help but feel a burst of excitement at this time. He has been waiting for Xiao Wu to advance to level, 20, for two years. Let's go, let's ask for leave and go hunt for spirit rings. Xiao Wu winked at Tang San and said. Tang San smiled slightly, and left Cachet with her. Asking for leave to hunt spirit rings is naturally an excuse. It's just because Xiao Wu condenses her soul ring and it's not easy to do it in the academy, so she has to find an excuse to ask for leave and leave. In Cachet, other work-study students saw Tang San and Xiao Wu going out, they looked envious for a while. They didn't envy Tang San and Xiao Wu's relationship. Instead, he envied Xiao Wu's cultivation talent. Those of them have not cultivated their soul power to the 10th level. As a result, Xiao Wu was already at level, 20. This person is better than others, I really envy this person. On the top of an uninhabited mountain outside the city. Little San, I'm starting. Sitting cross-legged on a boulder, Xiao Wu was about to condense the spirit ring, and said to Tang San on the side. Tang San nodded, looking at Xiao Wu seriously. Xiao Wu sat cross-legged on the stone, pinching the orchid fingers with both hands, with the palm of her right hand facing upwards, flat on her thigh. The left hand is erected in front of the chest. Then, Xiao Wu's mouth began to emit a series of strange sounds. Accompanied by this strange sound, her eyes gradually turned red, and a circle of yellow bastards quietly appeared, moving up and down around her body. Tang San saw it. Behind Xiao Wu, a huge white phantom emerged, that's her martial spirit, it is also Xiao Wu's soul beast body. A faint red light gradually spread from Xiao Wu's body, and as time passed, the red light became stronger and stronger, and the bright red light pervaded like blood. The martial soul behind Xiao Wu became more and more solid under the red light. Suddenly, in the red light, a layer of yellow light dilutes out, turning into dots of starlight, and finally condenses into a circle of century-old yellow soul rings, which wrap around Xiao Wu's body. This is. Seeing this scene, Tang San frowned deeply. When Xiao Wu started to condense the soul ring, he released his divine consciousness. Don't miss a single detail throughout. In the observation of spiritual consciousness, Tang San discovered that his previous guess about the spirit ring's cohesion was correct. 
When Xiao Wu condenses the soul ring, she really needs the cultivation of her own soul beast body. The soul power that condenses the soul ring comes from the body of the 100.000 year old soul beast. The red light just diffused as Xiao Wu's previous 100.000 year cultivation base. As for the technique of condensing the soul ring, it is not complicated. But there is no 100.000 year old soul beast body. How to condense the soul ring? Whether it is the soul ring dropped by the soul beast after death, or the soul ring condensed by Xiao Wu, the essence is actually the same. It's just that Xiao Wu is in the form of a soul beast, so she can transfer her original 100.000 year cultivation base to condense the soul ring. What about me? Tang San stood where he was, thinking quietly. Xiao Wu has already condensed the soul ring at this time. With the appearance of the second soul ring, her body lines became more harmonious and slender. She got up slowly, seeing Tang San was thinking, but didn't make a sound. I don't know how long it took, but the night had already fallen, Xiao Wu was bored waiting, and looked up at the sky. On the clear black sky, at some point, there are dotted stars, like gems shining, and there is a galaxy flowing quietly, bright and dazzling, dreamy and distorted. What a beautiful starry sky! Xiao Wu couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Tang San, who was in deep thought, suddenly raised his head when he heard these words, and looked at the boundless and distant galaxy world. Star. Correct. Star, isn't his nine heaven star Ju able to absorb the power of thousands of stars? Especially the burning sun can completely replace the body of the soul beast, endowing him with powerful energy to condense the soul ring. Hearing the movement, Xiao Wu withdrew her gaze from the starry sky and looked at Tang San. Seeing his eyes shining like morning stars in the night sky, his heart beat faster. Little San, you, I found a way, Tang San said excitedly to Xiao Wu. Afterwards, without waiting for Xiao Wu's response, he sat down cross-legged and began to operate the Nine Heaven Star Art. In the sea of consciousness, the main star, the sun, suddenly burst into bright light. In Xiao Wu's astonished eyes, a golden grass appeared on Tang San's right hand. At the same time, behind Tang San's head, a bright phantom of the sun appeared. In an instant, the top of the mountain was bright, as if a sun had risen, the light was abnormal. Xiao Wu subconsciously narrowed her eyes. Tang San sat cross-legged under the phantom shadow of the sun quietly, the Juji Yanyang grass on his right hand swayed gracefully. Om. On the top of the mountain, the ghost image of the sun in the back of Tang San's head had a dark connection with the real sun in the universe. It shines brightly. From a distance, it looks like a sun rising on the top of the mountain. At the same time, the huge power of the sun is transmitted through the phantom, which is endless and endless. The terrifying light and heat illuminated the entire mountaintop extremely brightly. Xiao Wu could no longer look directly at Tang San. The extremely high heat wave hit her face, and she had to retreat a few meters. Tang San seemed to be under the real sun at this moment, the terrible high temperature made his clothes spontaneously ignite, and his blue gold long hair was scorched black and curly. Call out. The flame swept Tang San. Under the high temperature, his skin was directly chapped and turned grayish black, cracks opened one after another, exposing flesh and blood, and was quickly roasted. The top of the mountain is filled with the smell of barbecue. Xiao Wu smelled this smell, her face worried. Her eyes were filled with soul power, she looked into the dazzling light, and saw Tang San who was burned by the flames. She knew that now was the critical moment for Tang San to condense the spirit ring, so she didn't dare to disturb her, she could only watch silently. Here, hot, pain, the two feelings are like jagged teeth, repeatedly cutting Tang San's nerves. Too hot. It hurts too much. Tang San felt as if he was in the alchemy furnace of the Supreme Lord. The terrifying power of the sun was roasting his whole body, from skin, flesh and blood, bones, inner marrow. Everything was being roasted. His blood is boiling, cells are melting, bones are cracking. Unparalleled pain overwhelmed him. Ah, Tang San's soul couldn't help trembling. Such pain. It is a hundred times stronger than when he absorbed the thousand-year spirit ring last time. He could barely bear it. Gritting his teeth, Tang San held on to his spiritual aura, and began to follow Xiao Wu's method of condensing the spirit ring, releasing the spiritual power in his body to fuse with the terrifying power of the sun that permeated the surroundings. 
In the sea of consciousness, the main star, the sun, is slowly rotating, shining brightly. Boom! The power of the sun exploded in an instant. As Tang San gathered together, more brilliant light and heat erupted from the top of the mountain. The entire city of Notting was illuminated by a ray of light at this time, and people who hadn't fallen asleep or had already fallen asleep were startled by the radiance. What happened? Is it dawn? Isn't it just dark? Why is it light again? It's over there. People noticed a hill outside the city. There seemed to be a bright sun rising there. The whole mountaintop was bright. Tang San. In the sudden burst of light and heat, Xiao Wu saw a golden flame rising suddenly. The flame swallowed Tang San. The terrifying heat wave hit, the ground melted into magma. Xiao Wu had to retreat several tens of meters again. It's okay. Xiao Wu prayed silently in her heart. Kaka Tang San almost gritted his teeth. The painful feeling is like the waves raised by a magnitude, 10, earthquake. And his consciousness is a small county town by the sea. The turbulent sea first destroyed the embankment, and then the streets, buildings, cars in the county. Tang San tightly guarded his consciousness. A sliver of consciousness stays awake amidst the horrific agony. Little by little, he gathered the energy from the sun, and the light and heat on the mountaintop were also gathered in the process. With Tang San's efforts, the power of the sun gradually condensed into a golden spirit ring. Xiao Wu could finally see Tang San at this time. In her line of sight, above Tang San's head, there was a circle of golden spirit rings floating. This golden soul ring was shining with luster, exuding mysterious fluctuations in circles. There are golden ripples in the void. Seeing this, Xiao Wu couldn't help opening her little mouth wide. This is, what spirit ring? Why is it golden? What level of soul ring? Xiao Wu was extremely surprised. She knew that the color of the soul ring was related to the age. The ten-year soul ring is white, centennial is yellow, millennium is purple, Wanian is black, 100.000 years, it is red. But the golden soul ring, Xiao Wu has never seen it before, so she doesn't know how many years it is. At this moment, Tang San no longer had a human appearance, his whole body was scorched black, the top of his head was bald, his whole body was like a humanoid coke. If it wasn't for Tang San's aura, he could still feel it. Xiao Wu almost thought Tang San was dead. The golden spirit ring began to land, and then it was set on the nine extremes flaming sun grass on Tang San's palm. Boom! The moment the golden soul ring was put on, a huge burst of vitality suddenly burst out from the body of Zhu Ji Yanyankao. Under this huge vitality, Tang San's body was nourished. Kaka, pieces of scorched black flesh and skin fell off Tang San's body. Fresh flesh and shiny, golden bones grew rapidly, and even the burnt blue gold hair quickly grew out. Xiao Wu suddenly blushed and blinked, then turned her head in panic. Tang San only felt comfortable for a while, like soaking in warm spring water, feeling like returning to his mother's arms. He slowly opened his eyes, and saw the Juji Yanyang grass on the palm of his hand. At this time, the Juji Yanyang grass has a more magical appearance, the golden leaves are more brilliant, and the sun pattern on it is more clear. It is covered with a golden soul ring, exuding strong energy fluctuations, circles of golden ripples rippling in the void. At the same time, Tang San also found out. His cultivation base suddenly increased to the second level of perfection in the Qi refining period. This, has the second level been completed just after breaking through? Although he knew that his cultivation talent was very powerful, Tang San didn't expect that just after he broke through the first level, his cultivation could reach the second level of perfection. This speed is too fast, it's outrageous. Little San, you, won't you put on your clothes first? Xiao Wu's voice suddenly sounded. Only then did Tang San realize that his body was chilly. He looked down in embarrassment, and quickly looked around, looking for something that could block him. Regrettably, because of the pervasive power of the sun, the top of the mountain was already bare, many stones were burnt red, and wisps of smoke rose. Embarrassing. Tang San never expected that his clothes would be burned when he condensed the spirit ring. He underestimated the danger of using the sun to condense the soul ring. This time, he was really lucky. If it weren't for the powerful healing power of the Juji Yanyang grass he awakened, someone else would be burned to ashes by the power of the sun just now. Change. Fortunately, when Tang San was in the Kanglin continent, he learned a skill that could conjure clothes. 
After finding nothing to cover his body, Tang San immediately thought of this technique. When he cast a spell, a puff of smoke suddenly rose, and then a set of cyan slim Taoist robes appeared on his body. Xiao Wu's eyes saw the scene through the gap between her widely opened fingers, and she couldn't help but widen her eyes in surprise. How did you do that? She asked in surprise. Tang San frowned, and said to Xiao Wu, Xiao Wu, let's leave here first. In his consciousness, a group of people were running towards the top of this mountain. Among these people are the sole masters of the Wuhun Temple, the master Yu Xiaoging familiar to Tang San, and the teachers of the academy. They should have been attracted by the movement of Tang San's condensed spirit ring. Tang San didn't want to be exposed, he flashed his figure, hugged Xiao Wu, and then rushed down the mountain at high speed.